Greetings, Legionnaires. I am Rotoru, and welcome back to Constantinople Universalis. Wait, that's not the name at all. It's Byzantium Universalis. Byzantium, as uh, some of you may know, was the original name of the city located here in Thrace. Now, it was renamed Constantinople later on by the Emperor Constantine when he moved the Roman capital there. Anyhow, where do we leave off, guys? It seems like the Ottomans declared war on us. They went and Sudoku'd themselves. That's a terrible joke. They committed suicide, seppuku, uh, kamikaze, all that uh, you know, racist Japanese stuff. All right, now we had a simultaneous war going on with the Mamluks. And we were only taking the islands of uh, Rhodes and uh, Crete, but they were putting up a small bit of a fight. Now, it doesn't even look like I need my entire navy against uh, the Ottomans here. They've got just a few ships that even Hungary is knocking around. So, I'm going to wait for uh, Poland, Lithuania, and Hungary to try and mop up uh, some of the Ottomans here. I'll go ahead and send our remaining troops down to Athens and turn on as many forts as I can. Yeah, we're going to go into some more debt, as, uh, as, Timothy, uh, as Timothy said, I believe. We are uh, playing a lot like Greece, but we don't have to just because we have their lands. We're going to try and get out of this, guys. Oh, we're going to play a little bit more slowly, as I said. We lost a couple transports. That is unfortunate. Euboea and Chios defected to us. That's excellent, guys. And I took their troops. So we can just kind of mindlessly throw some uh, bodies at the Mamluks on Crete. It is uh, massively putting us over our force limit. So let's see. Let's just get rid of anybody that's damaged first. See how that treats us. Yeah, anybody at all that's damaged. Knight or Mulshu member, you're gone. How far are we over still? We are 11 units over. Okay. And in total, we've got... 20 militia and 8 cav. Hmm <laughs> Let's go ahead and get rid of uh, 8 of our dudes. Not going to agonize over the math because I'm terrible at it. Oh, I can't get rid of these guys because it's too close to uh, Ottoman territory. Oh well. Well, I don't want to uh, tick too many months down, so let's go ahead and just, as I said, throw these men at Crete. I'm still six over. The Second Liberation Army? Oh, these, uh, <laughs> these dynamic names are pretty cool, actually. All right, sweet. We won that war handily. Mamluks are pretty much done now. We are occupying roads. Uh, and the uh, the war goal is to take Crete, so we'll get our ticking war score as soon as that is uh, taken. That's some uh, pretty good luck, taking Eubea and uh, Chios there. Oh, I forgot to turn the fort back on in Constantinople. Oh, well. Our allies will handle it, or else we'll have to handle it. More, 
and more likely. <laughs> All right, we are really hurting and economically here. How many are we over again? Six? Okay. So we'll just say goodbye to these fellas. Okay, hopefully nobody noticed the uh, little uh, cut I had to put in the video there, but hey. Now we're back, and we have just uh, deleted uh, the units that we had that were over the forest limit. Uh, hopefully that will fix our monetary issue. Probably not, though. I mean, we're probably going to take a few more debts. <laughs> Let's see. Let's go ahead and take Crete. The Mamluks don't want to be part of this war anymore. So they will, of course, give me... Crete and Rhodes. Maybe a little money? No. God, no. Okay. War with the Mamluks is done. That, of course, gave me yet another fort that I don't want. A stupid Sunni <laughs> religious zeal is preventing me from converting these provinces for 20 years. Jesus. Yeah, let's send all my dudes back. Start coring our islands. And see what we can do about our money situation here. Uh, you boy is a straight. So, as long as I set my men here and don't move them, I can essentially drop our army maintenance down to nothing, as long as I keep blockading there. Which will be fine, that's all I plan to do. I'll let our allies uh, do all of the heavy lifting, and I'll simply blockade. See, can we detach damaged? Yes, we can. Let's try and get these fellas healed up. Did our admiral die? I think our admiral died. No, 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 there's no need to attach. I'm not fighting. Now, if I were to peace out with these guys, what could I take? Nothing without cost, honestly. Now, if you're defending in a war... You should be able to cut them down to size as part of the war goal. I mean, they are the aggressor. If you end up winning, just, you know, war reparations, humiliation, release a nation. Something like that, and make it cost zero diplo. But that's not it. Ugh, whatever. We can try to put a humiliate on We're about to win a couple more sieges here, though. Wallachia. <laughs> uh, he just wiped the floor with that two-stack. Why does Moldavia hold on to Kirkulisi here? Oh, they have claims. Of course they do. I think I kind of want to take Sofia, just so I can connect my land with Serbia. Have a, a land bridge there. Oh, god damn loans. <laughs> Here comes the cavalry. They suck. Whatever, guys. I bet you just gave him a claims. Yeah, we'll just do Sophia for the moment. Yep, sounds good. I'm going to want war reparations, fix our horrible economy, and as much money as I can get out of these fellows here. Okay, good stuff. Now we could fix our economic situation even further by eating Serbia and their delicious gold mine. 
I, I hardly get any use out of their gold mine. Uh, we only get 40% of their money. That's uh, from government form and rank. That's income from vassals, 25%. I believe that's uh, feudal monarchy. Yep. Empire runs on paper. So we can go ahead and... Uh, well, we're not going to core Sophia. We're going to release them as Bulgaria. But we should probably do that after we incorporate uh, Serbia, so we're not over our diplomatic limit there. Now, I haven't improved uh, my relationship with my allies in a good long time, so let's go ahead and do that. While we try and comp contemplate uh, where our next battle will take us. And that would be on Cyprus. Oh, excellent. Potato Head died, and his son, Juanas, <laughs> the ninth. Apokakos, or however you pronounce uh, that crazy Greek name. But he's amazing. Uh... <laughs> that was a big... That was a big one. Okay. Well, at least we don't have negative stability. And uh, Juanus is amazing. He's only 17. If he dies without an heir, a uh, noble from House uh, Jagillian will be on the throne, and that is the, uh, the Polish noble. Hungary has the von Habsburg dynasty. I would prefer that, quite honestly. But hey, what are you going to do? Let's repay a loan. Get our navy together. I don't exactly have any trade fleet to speak of, but that's okay. We're controlling the Mediterranean. Okay, those relationships are improved enough. Let's go ahead and fabricate on Cyprus. It's a nice province. It's got 15 development, uh, 6 base tax. It is the right uh, culture and religion. Not for the Cypriots themselves. Uh, Cyprus is the home to another dynasty of crusaders. They are, of course, Catholic. Uh, that's why it shows up as uh, being a heresy here. Yes, I can get into all of the history I learned on Wikipedia. That uh, Richard the Lionheart sold the island to a man named Guy of Lusignan. But uh, that's not terribly interesting. Uh, we can go ahead and call Crete now. Crete was a little expensive. 13 development. Not a bad addition to our nation. I mean, they are Sunni. But we'll get over it. The wonderful thing about the Reconquest War against the Ottomans is that everything we take is at a reduced price cost, so we'll be able to take more of it at once. Um, so I'm assuming in the next war we could probably retake the entirety of Bulgaria, um, eat Uskup and Elbasan for ourselves, and probably take a couple provinces out of Anatolia proper. By that time, we'll have to be able to stand on our own two feet when it comes to uh, a slugfest with the Ottoman Turk. Hand-to-hand uh, -hand land combat, not just blockading straits. But I think we can handle it at that point. We've got a pretty decent force limit. Our manpower is always high. Yep. Fuck off, Finnis. Okay. Treinos, uh, 634. He's actually pretty excellent. Okay. We've got a claim on Cyprus. Mamluks would protect them. I'm not surprised. How's our monetary situation looking? It's not looking bad. We can actually maintain uh, our armies. And have a positive income. That's pretty excellent. Have the Mamluks rebuilt their navy... 
I'm going to guess no. Boats are pretty expensive. The Mamluks have zero navy. I'm going to be able to blockade the shit out of these fellas. Who are your allies again? Morocco and Tugurit? That doesn't matter. We'll just be fighting the Mamluks. If possible, I'll take some land from them as well. Because? Why not? <laughs> why wouldn't I? Ah, but before any of that, let's go ahead and, and uh, send a royal marriage to Serbia. Send them some ducats and start annexing the bastards. And they'll be part of the uh, the glorious purple Roman Empire. Ugh, their gold mine is keeping our uh, valuable gift from really meaning anything. Unfortunato. So our truce with Serbia is up. That's kind of funny. And that's how quickly we, uh, we've taken land here. Like, they've been our vassal for ten years. And our truce with them is just up. And we're going to start annexing them. Real easy stuff, guys. Real simple. Violence never solved anything. Then more Diplo power. That is good. Going to want to take uh, number five here for the trade efficiency. That'll help our economic situation even more. Positive nearly three ducats now. Okay. We're not getting to war as quickly as I would have preferred. I will be taking this uh, statesman. That'll allow us... Every point of diplomatic reputation increases the amount of diplo power per monthly tick that you can use to annex uh, whoever you're annexing. So, it's going to cost us 400 and, or 544 diplo power to fully annex Serbia. Taking the statesman will make that tick down just a, a little, little bit faster. Okay, is there anything else that we want to fabricate claims on? Might as well fabricate on... Um, Let's see, uh, the big green boy here. Huda Vendigar, Kokeli, uh, Biga, and Sugla. The big four. Need to get a foothold in Anatolia proper. We just have uh, Chios right now. Chios, which came over to us with zero autonomy and zero unrest. Because they flipped to us from nationalist rebels. Uh, I lied, Euboia has about 50% autonomy. I guess uh, they just own Chios from the, the uh, beginning of the game, so no reason to increase autonomy. But they did take Euboia from Venice. Euboia, or uh, Negroponte, as the Venetians called it, it literally means Black Bridge. Because there was a Black Bridge that connected uh, the island to uh, mainland Athens. That's my guess. Sounds like a pretty good guess. Okay. Got enough relationship with Serbia to start annexing the little fellas. This will be done 1482. So, nine years. Good stuff. I'd say we have plenty of working relationship with Hungary. Let's go ahead and declare on Cyprus. None of our allies will join. But I'm not concerned. As I said before, the Mamluks have no navy. Just taken Deus Vault. That means we get a... Uh, oh. Ugh. Okay. Won a naval battle. Holy War against the Ottomans. Cleansing of heresy against Venice. That's not the only cleansing we'll be doing against Venice, if you know what I mean. And if you know what I mean, let me know. I don't know what I mean. All right. They'll be able to drop their troops off in Chios on the 10th. They've already succeeded. I need a new general. 
I need a new general, but at the same time, I really want deck six. So we'll just we'll just go ahead and drop these guys over there naked. Why not? How many can I transport seven? Best of luck on your adventure to Geos, men. I seriously mean it. Best of luck. Roll really well, please. That didn't do too bad. Okay, let's get the rest of this uh, blockade started right. The Mamluks literally cannot stop us from controlling the entire Mediterranean. The only thing that can stop us is a lack of force limit. <laughs> we got halfway down, uh, what do you call this, Bay of Alexandria, and we lost a little momentum there. Can't blockade everything. Okay, we got a claim on uh, Albania. Oh, they do have a navy. Where'd you guys come from? Shall we go squish the navy? I think we shall. Wait, can you stop in Rhodes first? I can't remember where our... Uh... Oh, there he is. Yeah, we're going to use the Admiral to see if we can't sink that Navy and catch some dudes. Catch some boats. Siege of Cyprus is nearly done. Okay, that'll help. Now, these poor fellas here, they're going to have pretty high war enthusiasm. And that'll continue until I can piece the Mamluks out. And I say, you know, poor them, but really poor me. It's just going to drag the war out unnecessarily. Alright, the blockade's going a little bit better. Still have an uncored uh, Bulgarian province. That's fine. The more our autonomy ticks down, the more provinces we get, the higher our force limit will go. Uh, naval force limit is going to be pretty low for the time being. That is until we can get some navies running, or, or some uh, <laughs> some docks running. Yep, yep, yep. We just have to conquer more land, guys. How long do you guys want to stay in the war? Hmm? Talking to you, Mamluks. Yes, yes. Would result in Cyprus's annexation or vassalization. Negative 85. The war is clearly over. I cannot piece these guys out. Just have to let the war rage on and on and on. There's no way I'm fighting their 29 stack. That would be flat out stupid. So, honestly, I think we just uh, remove our men to uh, to the mainland here. Set it on speed 5. See what happens. I want this war to be over. I want to take Cyprus and... Uh, I really just don't want more than one war going on at the same time here. That's putting us into financial ruin. You still have the mission City of the World's Desire? That's adorable. Yes, the sooner this can get over, the sooner we annex Serbia, the sooner we can get into the full swing of things. Okay, we can keep 1,200 Monarch points saved. And I'd rather not pay just the uh, the negative 5 on the tech cost. So hopefully we can sit on this for a few years until we need to fight somebody major. And then tech up to 6 when appropriate. Yes, it is not appropriate to always hit that tech up button as soon as you can get it. It doesn't benefit you. Ottomans declared on the Mamluks. Okay, maybe that'll let us peace out here.
Uh, as soon as their war exhaustion ticks up a little bit, I'm sure that'll go through. All right, guys. Well, I hope this has been an interesting video. We have had rebels flip the islands of Euboea and Chios back to our rule properly. We have started annexing our large Balkan vassal, Serbia. They and their large gold mine will be... Dear Christ, is that a level 3 general? Sick shock. I almost don't want to annex him now. Anyway, we'll annex him, take over his gold mine. Unfortunately not his 3-star general. Uh, we finished our war against the Mamluks. The first war, anyway, over Rhodes and Crete. And now we're taking Cyprus. That'll be our last war with the Mamluks for a while yet, if I had to imagine. Deus Volt is now ours. It, the idea has been unlocked. We can take a lot of land without taking any sort of diplomatic cost. And we'll be doing that to the Ottomans here very, very shortly. Probably in the next video. Anyhow, Legionnaires, thank you for joining me. This has been... Byzantium Universalis, and I have been Rogeru. Good luck. <laughs>